welcome to this week's video demo. This week I wanted to share ideas with you for making things with Lawn Fawn products. Lawn Fawn is this company. This is their, their logo, the little fawn. Um, they make a ton of really cute stuff. A lot of their stuff is stamps and then they also make a bunch of die cuts and then they make stamp and die cut combinations. Um, so just to give you kind of a little quick little um, preview on what they carry. Um, and a lot of their stuff is kind of cutesy, so just giving you guys a heads up. But anyways, it is adorable. These are my two, um, probably of the most recent release, there's actually a ton of stuff I really liked. But today I'm gonna feature ideas using these two products. The Little Gnome, which is so cute, and it is called Garden Gnome. And then also the Slimline Tro Tropical Leaves Border. Okay, so those are gonna be the two die cuts I'm gonna to feature today to give you some different ideas for creating with these. All right, so the first thing I'm going to share with you is making this cute new kind of shadow box. So I cut a piece of paper here. This is 11 inches long and it's two and a half inches wide, okay? I'm gonna use my scoreboard here to show you what I did. So very first thing I did was I'm gonna go ahead and score it at four and a half and at five and a half, as well as at 10, okay? Then you'll see here how you kind of get your fold. So this is kind of that general kind of shadow box kind of shape, right? Okay, and then I normally I would also add a little tab on here, but since I use the full amount of space, I also cut this little extra piece right here. And this is um, about, oh, I would say one and a quarter inches um, by about uh, two and a half inches, okay? And so I'm gonna go ahead and just score that right in the middle or ish, and I make this cute little tab little piece here, all right? Now, I'm also going to um, put in a score line at the one and a half inch mark only to the part where that um, first score line is. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you see there's the score line right there and it does not continue here. It's only on this front little section here, okay? All right, now I'm gonna take my scissors and we're done with the scoring tool at the moment. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut along this front um, little line here. And then I'm also, so this is my front of my shadow box. I'm just gonna turn this off. Okay, so this is what we have for our front shadow box card. You guys can see that, okay. All right, so now I'm gonna trim a diagonal here on the right, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the left. Okay, and now I'm gonna use my little tab piece to adhere it in place. Or to bring my shadow box together, rather. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right here. This is my little tab. I'm gonna line that up on the far left side there so that the fold line lands on the edge of that. And then I'm also going to glue this right here on the front. And then of course, whenever I'm making a shadow box, I always wanna make sure everything folds nice and flat, which it totally does. Okay, and you wanna check both directions here just to make sure. There we go. Perfect. All right, and now we'll just go ahead and trim this little guy off. Okay, so there we have our quick little shadow box looking thing. I know it doesn't really make a lot of sense at the moment, but we're getting there. All right, so now what I did was I cut out a circle and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue the circle on the back right in here. Isn't that fun? It's kind of cute looking. Now we can make our fun little scene. All right, so I'm gonna use this fun cloud paper for the backing. And I'm leaving about, a, I would say probably about a quarter of an inch border around the whole, around a quarter inch around the entire circle there. So it frames the clouds out nicely. Okay. And then we have our leaf borders from earlier. And I have a few of these. This guy I just cut in half. All right. Okay. 
So I also have this little strip right here, which I cut to be four, or sorry, I cut the strip to be five inches and it's about half of an inch tall. And I scored it on the left and right to so make these cute little tabs. I'm gonna fold those in, apply some glue, and those are gonna go on either side. And I'm just gonna tuck this into my shadow box. Okay, I don't know you guys are seeing from the top, but you just tuck this right in there on the left and right and oftentimes what I'll do is I'll fold it just to make sure that the other side is going to land where I want it to so that way my card can still fold totally flat so we pop that up and you see how that's there now right there in the middle okay all right now I'm going to take my little grasses and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this top this first little grouping of grass in I'm just going to tuck that right there All right, and now I'm gonna do my second little grouping of grass right on the front here. All the way from the left and the right, and I'm gonna block out the little top of that shadow box. You can't see the little brown right there on the top of this top of this little section. I just covered that up. All right, isn't that so cute already? Oh my gosh, so fun. And you can write your little message on the back. Isn't that cute? Okay, now we have this dark green, darker shade of green here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this out. Off any excess here. All right, and now I'm gonna take a moment and add some green inking on the bottom. Use the Lucky Clover Distress Ink and my blending brush here. I'm just going to fold this flat down here at the bottom and so I'm just going to add a little bit of green just to kind of make it a little bit more exciting on this layer of grass here, but then also to add a nice layer of green all the way along the bottom. And then I'm going to do a little bit of green on the left and right side of my little shadow box as well. This is the Distress Oxide ink, so it stays wet long enough to do your blending. All right, so there we have that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and glue on my little grasses. So on the front here, I'm gonna glue this down in the middle for the most part. And I'm gonna leave just a little bit of that brown or the base paper kind of showing at the bottom. So that way I'm not seeing the bottom edge of my top layer of grass there. So I'm gonna press that down and then I'm gonna fold this over on the left and on, or on the left and on the right. And I'm gonna glue that in place as well. And then at this point, I'm just gonna trim off any excess. And on the other side. and trim off any excess that's sticking out. All right. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, now the fun part. All right, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be cutting out those cute little gnome. So I got my die cut machine. Okay, so. This gnome die cut comes with two pieces. There's the background piece, and then there's the intricate pieces. So I'm gonna give you some information here. The background piece, I cut this out ahead of time. I'm just gonna cut that out of white, okay? I don't know if you guys can see that, but I cut that out of white already. Now this piece, I'm actually gonna cut out of black. intention with this die cut is that you get all these little intricate pieces 
And then I think that their plan is that you would then cut these out of different colors and inlay all the little pieces. But I saw that and I was like, I am, I am not going to do that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to save this little piece, which has two little eyes cut out. I know you guys can't see that right now. And then I'm also going to save the outline piece. All the other little bits and pieces I'm just going to, I'm just going to toss. Okay. Because this, doing this technique and doing it this way is going to save you so much time. I cannot even tell you so much time. Okay. So do that. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue it onto that white backing piece. Let me grab another piece of paper so you can actually see what I'm doing here. Okay. All right. So for my backing piece, and this is the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive for gluing down intricate die cuts. So you get that super fine line. All right, and we're going to glue this whole thing in place. Okay. Now we're going to line this up with the background piece. Ta-da! So cute. And now the only part of this die cut that I am actually going to save is the little eyes. And that's a little eye there and little eye there. I'm going to add a little dot of glue. And I'm going to glue this guy in place. And I'm going to glue this little guy in place. Okay. So there we have our cute little gnome. Isn't he adorable? Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Now, this is the trick for doing this die cut. We're gonna watercolor him. So I gotta decide what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna go with some kind of traditional gnome colors. We'll make his hat red. And then we'll make his little pants red. So cute. And then we're gonna do, probably we'll do his little face. Okay. And then if you wanna add just a bit more detail to his face coloring, so I gotta color his little hands too. You can take a tiny little bit of pink and add, make, give him like some cute little rosy cheeks, which might be kind of fun. Okay, and then we'll also give him kind of a cute little, maybe a blue jacket. Okay, da -da -da. whoa, -oh. colored his beard by accident. That's all right, we'll give him a colored beard. All right, and the bottom part of the jacket. And a little bit of a black belt. some cute little black shoes. And then you can color his beard any color you'd like, especially if you did what I did and got a little bit of blue on his beard. We're going to give him a brown beard here. Make sure he has a matching mustache. So cute. All right, so now that you got your gnome in place, you can decide where you want your little gnome to stand. Isn't he so cute, you guys? Look how fun he is. That's way more fun than trying to put all those little intricate pieces in there. All right, I'm going to have my little gnome back here kind of hiding. But you can stick your gnome wherever you'd like when you're, you know, if you wanted to create a similar kind of card. So I'm going to have him back here kind of hiding in the grasses. This is a hiding gnome. Isn't he cute? Okay. And then we gotta do the same thing that we just did for the gnome body, and we gotta do the same thing for the little mushrooms. Okay. Put that to the side for a moment. All right, so earlier I already cut out these little white mushrooms. So these are the backing pieces. Oh, sorry if you can't see that. So these are my three little mushrooms I cut out earlier. Again, these are just the background pieces. And now I'm going to cut out the more intricate part of this die cut, which is the little mushroom with the details in it. Okay, so we'll stick this guy down here. And 
you pop this little guy out again we're just looking for the outline little piece like so but there's also this little inside circle here so those are the pieces we're going to be saving for each each little guy here one two another one so these are the pieces that we're saving from each little mushroom there a little tiny inside circle and I think I want to do three mushrooms for my little creation here So now, get that piece of paper back. All right, so we have our cute little three little mushrooms here. So now we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna glue the little black outline onto each of the little mushroom bases. And then we have our little inside circle for each of those. All right. Okay, so once you have those in place, then time to get out our watercolors again. And I don't want them all to be exactly the same, so I'm just going to pick three different shades of red here. And I'm going to color everything on the mushroom topper except for where the little circles are. All right. There's that guy. This guy. Also going to color their little stems. I just need to pick something a little bit more neutral, so we're going to pick this kind of, I don't know, neutral earth tone kind of color for the mushroom stems. All right, there we have it. Okay, so now we have our little gnome peeking out, and then we're going to have our cute little mushrooms, and we can kind of tuck and hide them kind of wherever you'd like. So we'll do a little guy there, we'll do a little guy there, and we'll do this little guy down here. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, so this little guy will tuck in here. And this little guy will tuck in here. And this little guy will stick on the front. Like he's peeking over the bushes to see the little mushroom. Okay. And then the last little thing we're going to add on here because the sky is kind of plain. So I decided I want to do a little sunshine. So a little sunshine, you can just do a little circle punch and then you can just, you know, create like a cute little sunshine for the sky. But I wanted to make it more exciting than that. So I took this die cut. It's called Lighthouse Collage. And I cut out just the top section of this, this little part right here. So then that way I could get that this amazing shine mark. See how beautiful that is? So I'm just going to manipulate this a little bit. I'm going to trim that off. 
And then my little rays of sunshine, I'm just gonna trim here, like so, on the left and right. Okay, so you end up with just this. Okay. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of my glue here, glue this, put some glue right here in the middle, and I'm gonna glue on this kind of um, ochre kind of color, I guess is what we'll call that. And I'm gonna glue this in place now. And I'm not gonna glue down each of the rays, I'm just gonna glue on that little section right there. I'm just gonna kind of center this the best that I can. And then I'm gonna add in this bright yellow one and offset that just slightly so it looks like you have it's a little bit more dimension for the sunshine. And there we have it. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. And what's cool about this is that it folds totally flat, so then you can stick it into an envelope, which is perfect. And it's a perfect A oh, as far as I know, it should be a perfect A2 size card. I think my circle might have been just a touch too high for that, but it might be perfect. So there we have. Actually, this would fit into a five by five inch. Oh no, it wouldn't see what size it would fit into. Now that I'm thinking about this, I might have made my little circle just a touch too tall. Oh yeah, it'll fit into a six by six inch envelope. But pretty darn cute, huh? Pretty darn cute. Oh, it'll fit into an A7, no problem. So an A7 size envelope is what that will fit into. But isn't that so precious? Oh my gosh, I just love his little gnome face. So fun. Okay, so that is my first idea to share with you. Okay. On to the next idea. All right, for the next idea, what I decided to do was I used this circle, um, reverse circle cutout from when I did the circle on the last card. And I have this really amazing wood grain paper, which I love, I love the wood grain. So I wanted to make a little, a little door, like a little fairy door. So I'm gonna line this up on the top. You can see how there's white exposed on the left and right. So I'm keeping that even amount of white exposed on the left and right. And now I'm just gonna draw a little kind of half circle shape only along the top, right? And that's what I'm gonna cut out. It's just that half line, or sorry, that half circle line on the top. I'm just gonna trim this out. Okay. And then I'm gonna take my scoreboard. My little scoreboard, I'm gonna just, I wanna emphasize these lines right here um, where the wood grain is. So I'm just gonna, I'm just putting a little, a little indentation there and we'll do one here and we'll do one right here. Okay. And I'm just gonna hold on those lines. Then I'm going to take my brown ink pad here. Everything for just a minute while I clean this off. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to take my brown ink pad with my blending sponge. I'm gonna fold right there and I'm just gonna kind of brush on some more ink so it just kind of makes it a little bit darker in those little crevices of the wood grain. Just makes it look a little bit more exciting. Okay, and then I'm also gonna take my ink pad and just kind of brush it across like so. And again, this just adds some more dimension and if you go in this kind of up and down direction, the same kind of movement as the wood grain um, pattern itself, then you'll get this really nice look of like actual wooden door. Isn't that cool looking? I just, I love the effect from that. Okay. And then I also took a smaller piece from that same paper and I'm just gonna trim this out. Okay. And then I'm gonna use my circle punch and I'm gonna do a hole punch at the top. All right, just like so. And I'm gonna get my self-healing mat. And my X-Acto knife. And I'm just going to cut out a shape that kind of looks like, the, like a stick figure dress. So then that way we end up with a cute little keyhole. Isn't that cute? All right. Now we have a piece of brown paper, this guy. And in the middle of the brown paper, I'm gonna color black. Right? 
then I'm going to glue on my little keyhole so that the keyhole part lands where the black ink is. Okay. Now I'm going to cut this out so that there's a little bit of a brown border on all four sides. And I'm going to take my brown ink again. And I'm going to do it the same thing on this keyhole, but I'm going to just press a little bit harder so it's a little bit darker. Still looks like a keyhole. All right, and I'm going to take some mounting tape so that there's at least a little bit of dimension. Put that on the back side of my little keyhole, and that's what's going to go on my little door that I just created. There we are. Isn't that cute? Super fun. Okay. All right. So now, let me set this to the side. I'm just going to clean this one more time. All right. Once again, I'm going to cut up my little gnome. So just like earlier, I have his little body already cut out of white. So I'm going to cut out just the intricate pieces from this piece of black paper. And just like before, I'm not going to bother trying to save all these little inlay pieces except for where the eyes are. So I'm going to keep the eyes, but I'm not going to keep anything else except for the outline. Okay, so we have the little eye bit and the outline. Again, I've got my backing piece here. We're going to go ahead and glue this in place. All these little intricate bits and pieces, or rather intricate lines, because I'm not going to inlay all those little bits and pieces because that would be very, very time consuming. Okay, and then we're just going to stick that right on top. Perfect. And then I'm going to stick a couple little dots where I want the eyes to be. And then we can use our little piece here just to lay the little eyes in place. There we are. Okay, now we'll go back and do some more watercoloring. And we'll change this up just ever so slightly. We'll give them a different color little jacket. Oh, let's see. How about this cute kind of aqua color? We'll do this jacket aqua. So fun. All right. And we'll do it at the bottom part of his little jacket. And then gnomes kind of have kind of a traditional color for their hat. So we'll do his hat out of red again. Let's add some skin color in there. And I kind of want to change up the skin color just ever so slightly. These people come in all sorts of colors. Oh, that red part of his head there. Maybe got a little owie or something. And then let's also do, oh, I need to do a little bit more color for his little jacket here. There we go. All right, and then we'll give him some cute little red pants to match the red of his little hat. Make that a little bit more 
more vibrant. There we go. And we'll give him some little black shoes. Or dark gray, I guess. And then we'll do the same color belt. Okay, and we'll just keep his we'll keep his beard light. Alright. So now we have our cute little door. And we got our cute little gnome guy. Look how cute he is. Oh my goodness. Alright. So then what I want to do is a our card base. Okay, so we're gonna have a card base here. And I decided that I wanted to have kind of a cloud background because I love this cloud paper. So we're going to do that on the whole front of the card base here. And then at the bottom, we are going to stick on, remember when we cut out the, that grass border earlier? Well, this is the reverse piece. You can see this is where the shape is that we cut out earlier. So I'm actually going to take this and I'm going to use it as grass, actually. So I'm going to put a little line of glue here. And I'm just going to stick this on here like so. It's not perfect, and that's okay. And then put another little line of glue and this piece. And it's going to be offset just slightly and down a little bit farther. And look, quick little grasses. Again, it's not perfect, but grasses is generally not perfect perfect shape or perfect size so this actually works out great so we have our cute little grasses and we have our cute little gnome who I love I'm gonna go ahead and glue him down he's just so sweet this little guy oh my gosh I love him all right so once you got your gnome in place now I have these little sprigs which I cut out earlier and this die cut is absolutely awesome I refer to these as the little wishing dandelions, little wishing stems. And um, so I just cut them out of a, I just cut them out of white and I'm gonna get some color on them. So I'll probably just do some quick little watercolors here. Get my little stems colored. Oh, let's see here. We'll do green for the stems. And this little green here. All right, and then for the wishing part, we'll do those in yellow. I decided to do a yellow card base. So even though you can't really see it from the front, I want my I want the yellow to be the same shade of yellow. Kind of that ochre yellow kind of color. Okay, fun, perfect. All right, so once those are done on our little front guy here, we can put a little bit of glue right on his little gnome hand, and then we'll just go ahead and lay our little wishers, the little wishes out here. Look how cute that is. And then on the bottom here, I'm going to go ahead and trim this off. Look how sweet this is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. It's so cute. All right. So I have this little brown piece here. I'm just going to take a quick little stamp that says make a wish. And I'm going to stamp that down. And then I'm going to take my scissors and make this into a cute little flag. Perfect. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and adhere this onto the card base. If you want to add like some dimensional dots or foam dots, you certainly can. And then we should stick that right on the front of the card. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And then we'll have our little make a wish little flag. We'll put that up towards the top. And there we have our cute little card. Isn't that adorable? And I wanted the top of the door to be seen, which is why I moved that flag down just a little bit. 
Isn't that so cute, you guys? Look how fun that is. And then you can write your little message on the inside. But isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, I just love that little gnome. So adorable, so adorable. Okay, I have one more idea to share with you. All right. Okay, so I told you that I'm kind of obsessed with this little gnome. So some of the other things that are in that die cut set this is this cute little lantern it's a little tiny lantern die cut and then this is the backing for it so i went ahead and i trimmed those out cut those out and then i also cut out a black and white background piece of the gnome okay so this is what i cut out ahead of time these little pieces all right so now i'm going to go ahead and cut out one more time the intricate pieces of the gnome one more time and trust me if you're making a lot of something and you're making a lot of cards or in this case, um, well, I'm not gonna share with you what I'm making, but if you're making a lot of something with this little gnome, I recommend doing what I'm doing where you're cutting out just the outline versus cutting out all those tiny little intricate pieces out of all these colors, because again, it's just gonna be very, very time consuming running all of that. Though, if you want to, you're welcome to, but I, just for time's sake, I decided that this was the best way to go. All right, once again, I'm gonna save the little eyes and the outline. But look how cute this little mustache is. You could certainly use that on something. Look how cute it is, so tiny. I'm not gonna use it today, but you guys can use it for all sorts of cute ideas, especially if you have like some cute little googly eyes or something with a cute little mustache. You could put like on all sorts of silly things. Okay. All right. Again, I have my backing piece here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this in place for the last time. Okay. And these little hat bits. All right, so we'll go ahead and lay him down. And then we have his little eyes. We'll go ahead and stick those in place. And then this little guy. There we are. Okay. Now, I'm gonna do, for this one, I'm doing something kind of Christmassy themed. I know Christmas, how, why am I even thinking about it now? But when you're in this industry, you gotta think about it ahead of time because otherwise it sneaks up on you. So once again, we're gonna do the little red hat. And the little red pants. And because this is Christmassy themed, we're also going to do green. And we'll do that for his little jacket. It's pretty darn cute, this little guy. Oh, I just cannot get over how adorable this gnome is. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So cute. Okay, and then we're gonna do his skin color again. So let's put this color and this color. Oh, got some red in there and didn't plan to. And then we're gonna do his black belts and black shoes. All right. And then just to finish this off, I think I'm gonna give him kind of a light gray colored 
beard and mustache. All right, so there we have our cute little gnome guy. Oh, and then we also have our little lantern pieces. So these little pieces, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna color the little lantern piece, the backing piece, we're gonna do this in yellow. And I'm gonna add some nice vibrant yellow specifically right in the middle here. Okay, all right, and now we're gonna go ahead and glue the little lantern in place. And stick that on. All right, so now we have our cute little gnome and our cute little lantern. Look how cute those are. Oh my gosh, so precious. Okay, so now we're gonna use this product. This product is called Liquid Applique, okay? So Liquid Applique, I'm just gonna show you up here. We're just going to apply some Liquid Applique to the top of this, and you're probably like, what the heck is that stuff? Well, I'm gonna show you because it's pretty darn cute. So we're gonna apply this as if there's snow on it. All right, so we just apply a little bit kind of here and there. I'm gonna set this on a piece of scratch paper here. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing for this guy. I'm trying to figure out where snow might fall. So I'm gonna put some snow right here on the top of his little hat. And maybe like on the brim of his little hat. And let's see, maybe like on his little arm and on his little shoulder here. And probably like, maybe he's like standing in some snow. So maybe like on his little feetsies. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna apply some glitter. any excess here so you can see where the glitter is the glitter is all like on his little anywhere that's kind of wet still and this little guy okay all right we'll put this away save any excess for a later project oh kind of made a little bit of a disaster with my glitter here very very glittery okay all right so now we got our little guys here now we'll take our heat gun and we are going to puff this up all right let's see what happens So when you apply heat to liquid applique, it poofs up and looks like snow. Isn't that so cool? All right, so we're gonna do the same thing for the little gnome guy as well. You guys can see what happens here, it's pretty cool. You seeing what's happening there? How it's all kind of poofing up? Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, it looks like snow. I can't burn my finger here. Okay. All right. So once you have that, then we have this little bit of twine here. Okay. And I'm going to tie a knot on the left and on the right. So they're about even from the end. Okay, so not on the left and on the right. Okay, now we have our little backing piece, the black piece, black little gnome silhouette. All right, so then you're gonna take some hot glue. I'm gonna trusty little hot glue gun here. I had to heat it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some hot glue onto my little silhouette. And then I have my twine here. I'm gonna stick the twine on the left and on the right, making sure to keep my little knots even. And then I'm gonna apply more hot glue here, all the way down to the little legs and the little feetsies. And then we're gonna stick on our little front of our little gnome guy. 
and you probably have already figured out what we're gonna making, but it's so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. And then we're gonna glue on our little lantern a little bit. You glue it onto his little hand. And there we have a cute little Christmas ornament. Isn't it adorable, you guys? Oh my gosh, I love it. I love how cute he is. Oh, I just had to share that idea with you because as soon as I saw this little gnome, I was like, oh my gosh, it could be like a little holiday gnome. All right, you guys. So that is today's demo on Lawn Fawn Fun. I hope you guys got some fun ideas and I hope you were inspired. Hold on, let me go ahead and glue my little sprigs, my sprig middles down here. All right. And again, I hope you enjoyed it my demo and had some got some ideas to inspire you to start playing with your fun new lawn fun products all right you guys have a super fun day and i will see you guys later oh you guys probably can't see that very well these are the die kits i used as a reminder <laughs> all right i'll see you guys again soon have a fun day Bye bye